This video is not going to be monetized as it's not really my message to give and I think it's very important. The sender says, I have an open letter to Konami about the new end of match procedures from the perspective of a player who is disabled that I would like to get out there. I cannot press how sensitive admitting this out loud is, and I am sure most people will roll their eyes at my condition, but I promise you it is real and I'm not someone you might suspect to be disabled. He then goes on to say, the new end of match procedures are terrible, but I want to offer another perspective as a person protected under the Americans with Disabilities Act. I ask that you keep this message anonymous as so no one who knows me would ever guess that I suffered from these disorders unless I told them. Because I suffer from a non-specified auditory discrimination disorder, it takes me longer than average to communicate intentions with my opponent. This inevitably means I am more likely to play to time than my fellow duelist. Though my ADHD is medicated, I still suffer from concentration issues associated with this disorder which compounds my time use problem. I also suffer from generalized anxiety disorder, which creates a state of frozen anxiety when under pressure such as a time clock. In testing situations for both my undergraduate and master's degrees, I was offered additional or unlimited time on tests for these reasons. Under the new end of match procedure, this past weekend, I suffered from stress and anxiety that caused me to experience panic attacks and express uncharacteristic amounts of physical aggression. By not allowing players to finish their turn, nor continue to play normally past the 40 minute mark once time was called, I got caught in an anxiety loop towards the end of time that did not allow me to continue my, my turn smoothly and resulted in a flare up of uncontrollable anger. Both times I went to the 40 minute mark, I was set to win either that turn or my next turn for a 2-0 sweep, but, so I was not going to take the tournament far into time. The first time it happened, in fact, we spent more time past the 40 minute mark waiting for the head judge to resolve a communication dispute than we would have spent if we were under the old rules. The second time, I became verbally explosive and dropped the tournament in a fit of uncontrollable rage. Much to my embarrassment, once the episode had passed, I had to complete a do not drop slip and hope that my poor opponent from the round would forgive my childish actions. After attending YCS Secaucus this past weekend, it has become clear to me that I am no able longer to compete under the new rules as they disproportionately inhibit my ability to concentrate, communicate, and enjoy the game over a player who does not have my disorders. I have contacted one of the Konami reps and I believe I will be able to get a time extension for each tournament going forward, but I am not sure that will solve the problem long term as all it does is delay the inevitable panic attacks for whenever the amount of time the TO is willing to give me ends. The other issue is that once I know that uh, I have a once it's known that I have a time extension for panicking towards the end of time, I will be subject to undue discrimination and ridicule from other players looking to win against a disabled person. I have been playing since the shining darkness and have not had problems before because once time is called I'm able to finish my turn without a hassle. It is my hope that by coming out with this letter I'm able to share a completely different perspective on why the new end of match procedures are unfair. I also want to reach out and let other players know with similar disabilities that if you decide to continue playing under these rules there are accommodations out there for you and you should not feel hesitant to claim them. I am currently looking into any possible way to get the rule modified for everyone so that people like me do not have to face discrimination for special treatment. So he is saying basically that you're able to talk to your head judge and hopefully get something settled for you, but that then people know that you have a disability. And I do think that is a problem that was perhaps not taken into consideration by judges and uh, the entire procedure that was made for this new end of time procedure that might be implementing it. And as a judge, how do you really decide how much time to give somebody that suffers from these? I personally, in a duel where I know time is already ticking down, feel anxious as a regular person and want them to continue their plays to the best of their ability so that I get a turn back, they get a turn back, and we actually play the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, but not in a rush sense. That's why I really like the old time procedures. You get a turn, I get a turn, you get a turn, but the new end of match procedure does heavily favor whoever it's ending on, and there is a rush of panic, and there, there has to be confrontation if somebody is playing slower, and there has to be these other things, and that does build up anxiety in somebody like me who does not have those disabilities, so I can only imagine what it is 
is for someone like this. And uh, I think it's very brave that they stepped forward and gave you guys this perspective from themselves. And I think it needed to be heard. I don't think that it should just be silently put over and that it is actually a decent portion of our community, such as other duels have, who have stepped up and related their conditions to others that you guys needed to hear. Thanks for watching, everybody.